it's time for Morning Beat. We have Chad Blair here from uh, Hawaii Civil Beat, uh, Honolulu City. Beat. I want to ask you about this new article that came out just yesterday. Could West Maui's old Cane Hall Road have helped more people escape the fire? That's the headline again from Honolulu Civil Beat. Uh, and if I am familiar, I've been over there a lot sure. in the last month and a, and a half or so. That is the uh, old road that was used to haul sugarcane to Pioneer Meal, leading out north of Lahaina, correct? Uh, that a lot of folks maybe don't even know about, right? Exactly. So Marcel Honoré, who also has spent a lot of time on the ground there in Lahaina, he a couple of weeks ago reported how so many people were trapped in their cars. They could not get out of Lahaina. There was gridlock, mm -hmm. narrow roads. But it turns out there were people that were able to use this old Cane Hall Road. Not a lot of folks know about it, but we found out that at least a dozen cars, maybe more, people were able to escape. So the question being raised now is, why didn't more people know about that potential escape route? And maybe going forward, should we make that a permanent fixture? Because wildfires are a reality. And I've driven up there north of Lahaina, north of the Civic Center. Um, it, I, I had a, a, a forerunner. I had a, if you were in a, in a smaller vehicle, some of that was unpassable. Um, <clears throat> If I understand it, there was a project to try and, and make that a more, uh, more of a fixture. Exactly. Roadway. In fact, it, it's in a master plan and it's fairly recent. And the report actually explicitly raises this, the thought that, hey, Maui gets a lot of fires, particularly in the western area. If you actually develop this as an escape route, a lot of people can get out of town should there be a situation like what happened on August the 8th. Well, here's the problem. Critics say that the county has really just dragged its feet. They have not moved forward on it. Money has been cut for the project. Marcel did check with county officials and they say, look, it's irresponsible to talk about this right now. We got to focus on recovery, helping people. But really going forward, critics are saying, you ought to do this now. It would actually be part of what they call a West Maui Greenway, 25 miles, and not only for smaller cars, but people on bikes, pedestrians, another way to get out of town. And it would obviously make uh, the Lahaina Bypassway less congested. Uh, and and uh, so, so again, this is one more thing thing and it's so I you know Chad I, I'm on the ground there sure I know that you folks are, are investigative looking into all these things there's so much to keep track of this is another uh, kind of avenue of what we could have should have done um, it's almost overwhelming it know? really is and Marcel actually talked to people to get to that old Cane Hall Road which is parallel upland to Route 30. Some people actually had to break a lock to get to one of those roads. In another case, someone actually had a key and they were able to do that. But you're getting to this fundamental question, how come there was not more preparation? How come there's not people moving now to develop that greenway and make it available and widely known to the public? And again, uh, making something like that provides another fire break for the community. Exactly. Yeah, very good. Chad Blair with us from Honolulu Civil Beat. Thank you, and uh, as always, for being with us. We appreciate having you here today. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Sunrise on Hawaii News Now.